everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, coming up in July, there's going to be a joint military exercise called Jade Helm 15, which will be held in the state of Texas. Now, the military has been holding exercises in Texas for years. They have several bases down there, which, by the way, employ a whole lot of Texas citizens. It's a big state. There's a lot of space in it where there aren't any people. Uh, and the terrain is very similar in some places to what's in the Middle East. So it's the ideal spot to hold these kind of exercises. And, the, and like I said, they've been held for years and nobody has ever given them much thought. But this year, Texas has a new governor. Greg Abbott, and he's a Tea Party guy, which means that he's stupid and crazy. Matter of fact, he's even stupider than Rich Perry. Rick Perry, can you believe that? So he's decided that this year's military exercise is really an invasion that Obama has to decided to invade Texas and put everybody in prison. By the way, the prisons are underneath Walmarts. Uh, now, let me just say that there aren't enough Walmarts so that if you put prisons underneath them, the space would be big enough to hold all the stupid people in Texas. So the governor has mobilized the Texas National Guard to keep an eye on these military exercises. Now, conservatives like to act as if they have some kind of monopoly on patriotism. And they're always talking about supporting the troops. But now all of a sudden the troops aren't to be trusted. They're to be greeted with suspicion. Maybe they have never really been serious about that whole support the troops thing. Maybe that's just been their political thing. I mean, let's face it, they're always against any benefits for veterans. You know, uh, air shows are pretty popular in Texas. You know, uh, and, and in other states that that have a military presence, and I mean, you go to these shows and they've got some cool planes and and the Blue Angels do their stunts, and it's really amazing to watch. But I suspect the next time it happens, all the Texans will run to their bomb shelters. And you know, all of this paranoia. Do you think it might have anything to do that we have a black president? I'm just saying. But here is my little piece of advice for the great state of Texas. First of all, I really don't know why you have to use, have to have 10 gallon hats to put on your half pint heads. There really isn't any need for an invasion. Now, I know you're not really good with those textbooks and things, but maybe you should get one from out of state and a history book, because then you might find out that the South lost the Civil War and Texas, you're already part of the Union. There's no need to invade you. And uh, if the, the greatest army in the world, the greatest military the world has ever seen, decided that they were invading te Texas, do you really think that the Texas National Guard could stop them?
You know, uh, conservatives are always talking about wasting taxpayer money. But, and th this is just about the biggest waste of tax mo taxpayer money there is, you know. Evidently, s spending uh, thousands of dollars, perhaps hundreds of thousands of dollars, on a paranoid fantasy, that's okay. But like I said, what chance would the Texas National Guard have? I mean, they're the only military in the world that wear tinfoil helmets. Thanks for listening.